So guys, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down for you exactly one very simple thing that you should be doing right now if you are thinking about investing in cryptocurrency, you have been investing in cryptocurrency or you're going to be investing in cryptocurrency. Why? It's because a lot of people are not doing this simple thing and are literally making the difference between someone investing their hard-earned cash, their hard-earned investment money, and then thinking that it's going to then either two times, three times, five times, or maybe even more. But instead of that, what happens is they end up losing a lot of their investment. Maybe they lose half of it, maybe they lose a third, maybe they even lose the majority, just by not doing this one simple check. So that's why in this video, I wanna fully explain to you literally one simple thing by looking at a few different metrics as to seeing whether regardless of what happens to the market, regardless of what happens to the investment, the company that or the coin that you're investing in, regardless of what happens to it, what could happen to your investment, whether it can stay the same, increase or decrease. So this is a very, very important video for anyone interested in cryptocurrency. But first, what I need to say is that this is not financial advice. We are not financial advisors and we are pure, purely and simply giving you guys some things to look into, do your own research because you can't go wrong by doing your own research. So remember, this is just purely for educational purposes. This is not financial advice. Also, if you haven't already and you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're launching videos every single week. So make sure that you do not miss any of this new crypto, NFT, metaverse content. Also, make sure to follow the Twitter as well because we are releasing videos every week, but also these take time to record, edit, upload, all that stuff. On Twitter, it's very quick, very simple. So we'll be uploading daily on there, giving you guys all the insights that you guys need to make sure your crypto, NFT, and metaverse investing is as successful as it should be. So let's jump into it. So right now on my screen, you can see that I am on coinmarketcap.com. That is coinmarketcap.com. And on here, we can very simply see a lot of cryptocurrency coins and um, cryptocurrencies that you can potentially invest in. So this is a very good website that you should become familiar with if you are taking this whole cryptocurrency and this whole space seriously. But what I want to do is let's just click on Bitcoin. So if I click on Bitcoin, what will happen is it will open up on this page here and showing you so much information about Bitcoin. Now for starters, first of all, I just wanna say, do not get overwhelmed by all this information. There's some things on here that are super crucial for you to understand and know, and there's some things on here that are nice to know, but not necessary. So in this video, I wanna show you something very simple. If we scroll down here, and then we click on show more, what this will open is it will open up a few new things, but what I wanna talk about in this video is this here. So three things, circulating supply, total supply, and max supply. So circulating supply, what does this mean? This is basically the amount of this currency, this cryptocurrency, Bitcoin in this case, that is basically circulating, that is in and around, whether it's in people's wallets, whether it's available to use, to exchange, to buy, okay? Next is total supply. So this is the total supply out there right now. Then finally, that we have max supply, which is basically the maximum amount of this currency that can be made, that can be used, okay? So right now there's 18 million, uh, around 18 million, 19 million Bitcoin circulating right now. Now there's 21 million Bitcoin that can be, that can be used, that can be found, that can be minted, that can be created, that can be mined. So what this is showing is that actually right now there is a, the majority of Bitcoin has been mined, has been, is in circulation. Now, right now, this might not mean anything to you, but let me show you how this can literally be the difference between you making money and losing money. So if we just click on another coin for now, let's just click on, so right now I'm, I've opened up Solana, uh, which is another um, cryptocurrency on another blockchain. If we do the same thing here and we just scroll down, what we can see, so something very different to what we've just seen for Bitcoin, what we can see is that right now, circulating supply is around 309 million sol, okay? Now, if we look at total supply, what this is showing us is that, is that there's total right now that, we, that they can supply is around about 511 million. Now, the difference between this is something very crucial that a lot of people, a lot of investors do not know about, do not even look at when they're investing in coins, but it is something that every single one of us needs to look at whether we're deciding to invest or not. Now, what I wanna do is if I open up a calculator, we can see that if this, if Solana was to decide 
that they want to release the remaining amount of these coins, then what would happen is let's say, for example, you invested $1,000 into Solana today. Then let's say, for example, tomorrow, they were to release all of these remaining coins. What would happen to your investment? Let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 511, um, 616946 divided by 3091495191.65. Now what this is showing me is that if I, so if you remember that 1.65, if I was to invest $1,000 today, and then tomorrow they were to release all of their coins, their total supply. So we divide this by 1.65. What would happen? My $1,000 that I invested today would actually be worth only $600 tomorrow. Meaning I would have lost literally 40% of my investment overnight. We literally with Solana not doing anything, with, with no change in the market, no new people buying, no new people selling. Only thing that changed is that this cryptocurrency decided to release the rest of their coins. Now, some of you are probably realizing how much of a danger this can be if we don't even understand this. Why? It's because very simply, you could be going and thinking, oh my gosh, I see the future, I see the potential of this currency. And I'm not speaking about Solana in specific right now. This could be any currency, any crypto that you're looking into. Then all of a sudden, based on how this, this, this current coin, this currency wants to release their coins, wants to add more supply into the, into the whole uh, ecosystem, could literally mean that your, the value of what you invested can decrease rapidly. Why is this? It is very simply all to do with supply and demand, right? If there's more supply, then there can be, and there's the same number of people, what will happen? There's more supply, meaning that there's so many more options, there's so many more of these coins that people can get access to. If there's low supply, it means that the coins are rarer, they're worth more. So if I just show you the next one, let's click on the next coin that I was looking at. So this is Dogecoin. Some of you may be familiar with Dogecoin. If we click on this again one more time, show more, and we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can see here. Now this is very different. Okay, this is very, very different. So on this coin, we can see that the circulating supply isn't like Solana, which was around 511 million, isn't like Bitcoin, which was around 18, 18 million. Dogecoin is sitting at around, circulating supply is 132 billion Doge. Now, this is pretty funny is because a lot of people will look at this price here and think, oh my gosh, this is literally 17 cents and I can get Dogecoin. What if this was to go and hit the same thing that Bitcoin hit, where it's 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, okay? But as a matter of fact, it will be extremely, extremely difficult for Dogecoin to hit that level. Why? It's because, remember what we said, Bitcoin had, let's just open the calculator, Bitcoin had 21 million max supply, okay? Circling supply was around 18 million. Dogecoin has 132 billion. So if we just do 1326707643300. If you're wondering where I got this number from, it's just here, the circulating supply. And we divide it by, let's just say Bitcoin was around about the 18 million. What does this show? This shows us that literally there is around 7,370 times more Dogecoin out there than Bitcoin. Meaning that Bitcoin supply is here, Dogecoin supply is out here. So there's so much more, but not only that one thing that is kind of suspicious and would need more looking into when you're, when you're thinking about investing is this thing here. So I don't know if you realize, but the max supply here says that there's no data. Basically saying that there's oftentimes when you see this, it means there is no max supply, okay? But that doesn't mean it goes for everything. There may be some that say no data here and there may actually be no data on it, but there is a max supply. So this is when it comes to doing the relevant research to find out, does this coin have a max supply or not? Now, why is this crucial to know? It's crucial to know is because if a coin has a max supply, at least you know the cap, the amount of supply that is out there. If this coin, however, has no max supply, what this means is that this, this coin, this, this currency, they can literally pump as much coins out there as they want. Meaning that this circulating supply or total supply today is 132 billion. But if Dogecoin wanted to, they could pump out another 100 billion. So 132 billion, they could pump out another 100 billion, they could pump out another 500 billion, they could pump out another 1 trillion. What would that do? 
increase the supply means that your investment what your coins worth is going to decrease right so this is why it's crucial to look and understand what is the circulating supply what is the max supply next if we just jump on this one so uniswap some of you who have been in the crypto space for some time now may have heard of uniswap as well if we just check here we can see uniswap has a max supply so that's good at least we know that the maximum uniswap coins right now that can be ever be made or ever be out there is what is it it's one billion one billion uniswap okay right now circulating is 627 million okay so around about it's got another around about if we just estimate 400 million just less than 400 million that can be out there okay so literally if they were to pump this out your let's just say call it 40 50 percent your investment if they were to release all those coins right now if you bought at 17 dollars and you put 1000 dollars in if they were to release this the price would drop in half roughly drop in half probably a bit less also what it means is that your investment the amount that you've invested and it's worth would also drop in half too so this is why it's crucial to literally know that the market couldn't even shift doesn't even need to shift if they just decide that they're going to push out the rest of these coins then it means that your investment drops so i don't want anyone to be fearful when they're investing let's say for example uniswap and thinking oh my gosh there's 600 million uh, of these coins circulating but there is 1 billion supply what this could mean is that actually oftentimes what we can do is we can look on here and actually scroll down and see if there's any information so how many uniswap coins are there in circulation any information on basically the distribution right so here it's saying that 60% goes to community 21% goes to team members 70% to investors 0.69 to advisors also oftentimes what we'll find is they'll mention that in one year's time or in a certain date, they will actually be burning some of these coins. Okay, so this is why it's crucial that we do the relevant research to find out what what are the what is this company, what is this um, ICO, what is this coin going to be doing with their crypto, with their coins? Are they going to be burning, which just means getting rid of some? Are they going to be releasing some? If so, when? Because it could be a simple fact that you find out that they're going to release, let's say, another. Um, double the amount that they've got now in one month's time meaning that you've got all this month to hopefully get your investment to increase and if at that point where they're going to release it might be a decision for you to think actually you know what let me just sell now before the price drops so by the way if there's any questions at all that you've got with any of this information you want to find out more information whether it's how to do the right research whether it's what coins to look at right now whether it's anything to do with nfts the metaverse make sure to leave a comment in the comment section because we're going to be checking the comments and we can look back through and see what videos um, you guys want from us uh, in the future and finally just to wrap this video up there's one more here which is flow so flow actually increased a lot um, over the last like year so as we can see flow was literally it's its lowest price was around eight dollars now it's at nine dollars but you can see back here in 2021 it actually went up to 36 dollars but the last thing i wanted to show about flow we just click on show more again we can see here circulating supply you guys have a think now have a think for yourself circulating supply is 316 million total supply is 1 billion meaning that literally they were to release all of their all of their flow coins now your investment would drop by around four times how do i know that on, um, approximately okay i'm not doing this quick math in my head just approximately there's around 1.4 um, billion flow and there's around three 300 million flow in circulation so that is around four times um, less in circulation than there is supply also another thing to note here is there is no max supply which could just genuinely be that coin market cap doesn't have the data on that right now or it might mean that they haven't released a max supply so if they wanted to they could pump more flow out there so this is something that we just need to check you can check on the website check in this section here as well and just see what this coin is about and if they have any plans on what they're going to do with their coins and the distribution for it so that is what i want to finish this video on like i said before this is one simple like trick hack that you can literally do like very quickly just to see where where this coin is with how many coins there are total maximum and also in circulation right now so guys if you got any value from this video you, you learned something new make sure to hit the like button also if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button next to it so that way you do not miss any of our new videos we're releasing videos every single week 
to share with you all the knowledge that we have on crypto, NFTs, metaverse, and anything to ultimately increase your wealth, your abundance. Also, let us know in the comments what anything that you want us to discuss, to talk about, and make sure to follow the Twitter, which is MetaWealth by IAC. That's MetaWealth by IAC. And on there, we'll be releasing every single day new news, new information, new content very quickly for you to increase your knowledge, increase your bonus, and increase anything in this meta space. On that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, this is